Hey there, my name is Jazz, Gamertag Fizzy. This video is designed to be a reveal and proof of concept for a project I've been working on. The name of the project is Hardware Enhanced Melee. The goal of the project is to enable some functionality in Melee previously impossible via introducing new hardware that can be interfaced with by hacking the game. Doing this enables a whole slew of functionality, but let me start by showing you just a small sliver of what is possible. So I'm just going to show you a little demo that I uh, worked for. Um, so I started from Homebrew Channel, so you can see I am in fact on a console. Um, and I'm going to lo load this version of Melee, which actually has a few uh, DAL modifications. So it's a hacked version of Melee that basically supports the hardware uh, that I've created that I'll show a little bit later. Um, so on the left side of the screen, uh, you can see the Arduino output. Currently, it's the Arduino output is connected directly to the PC, and all the information is going to be displayed there. Um, so I'm going to get in a game, and you should see stuff show up on the left side of your screen. So, all right. I'm going to do the classic four stocks. I'll put a timer as well. And then I'm going to fight the almighty level one Ganon. Alright. Good, he hit me. So when he dies, you're going to notice something on the screen. Um, as soon as he died, the hardware detected that um, somebody died. It then wrote down how many seconds since the game started from that when that person dies, as well as the amount of stocks left, the percentage both characters are at, and the last move both characters connected with. As you can see, player one's last move was knee. Kill it with something else this time. Back air. Player one last move connected. Bear. Also, I'm not really keeping track of what percentage I'm killing him at, but it should be right. Actually, that's good. Give myself a death. <laughs> so you can see my stock count also went down. So that's that. Got a small demo with information being extracted out of the game as players die. Um, the events can be hooked up wherever. Right now the only event I have hooked up is on death and it spits out the information that you see in front of you. So I'm going to do my best to try to show the hardware really quickly. So I'm going to move the camera over um, and what you'll see is um, you're going to see something that looks like a memory card in there. That's actually a uh, sort of like a breakout. So all of the wires that usually get released from the memory card are then plugged into this breadboard. Um, then over here we have an, a real memory card. So this is actually what's inside your memory cards, um, as well as an FPGA board, which is this one, and an Arduino Do. Um, this isn't this isn't the required hardware um, necessarily. It's just the first version. I'm gonna experiment with some other stuff, but right now that's what's running that demo. So I wanted to make a section uh, just to outline um, at least the possibilities that I've thought of and that other people have helped me think of um, so far with this project. Um, I have them on screen uh, below me. So one of the big items is statistics. Um, that's kind of what you just saw in the demo. Um, I can extract information out of the game at any point in time. Really, I could extract information every frame. 
So that's what the first item is for, uh, positional information. We can extract where the characters are, and from there we can extract things like, you know, percentage of time player one controlled the center. Who controls the center more? Um, that's That'd be an interesting thing to know, and then relate that to who it wins, and so on, and see if it really does relate. Um, you know, death percentages, uh, maybe, you know, uh, mango kills earlier than other foxes or something along those lines. Uh, kill move logging, so obviously what do people kill with? Like, you know, how many times does none kill with knee versus S2J? Um, kill direction logging, you know, kill, do you kill up over the top or to the sides? Um, combo counters, uh, APM, you know, early input count. So early input count would be like if somebody messes up so maybe you could track like people's mistakes um, combo counter is an interesting one uh, not f necessarily for itself but it brings up the discussion that we'd be able to keep track of sort of records or like you know what's the longest combo ever hit on stream or and you know this this relates to all the information we could log um, so let's move on to the next section uh, streams um, one of the big things is live controller displays so uh, we can extract controller information out of the console. It can be displayed on screen, and you could see people's controllers while they play. Should be pretty sweet for a stream. Um, we could auto update set scores, um, maybe even names and other things. Uh, statistic informed commentary. Yeah, this this is a bit of an an open ended one, but it 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 relates to the statistics section in that commentators would be armed with the statistical information that they could throw out, especially when there's downtime and stuff, and it would make the streams a lot more entertaining. Uh, the last one is tournament organization, um, and this includes things like auto match reporting. So, um, you know, the game could potentially keep track of when matches are happening and then push the data out um, to some server or something. Um, the server might also know, you know, what, what station that source device is, and then it would, you know, automatically say, "Oh, this station is now free," um, and that kind of thing. That 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 kind of leads into the next uh, section. I also added a thing here for like anti-friendly protection when station is assigned match. So like, if you assigned a match to station 23 or whatever, the device at station 23 could detect from the internet that that station has been assigned, and lock the setup down so that no friendlies can be played. Um, from there, uh, it would have to be unlocked via some means, um, and that's you know to be discussed in the future. But it could be something like uh, an RFID card that the players scan, and it detects, it knows what players are supposed to be on that setup, so it unlocks it for them, and they can play their match. And I'm sure there's a whole loads of things I haven't thought about, so I encourage anyone to you know think of things and maybe throw out ideas and so on, and you know hopefully that. This this project gets people excited, so that's that's what I'm I'm hoping for with this release. So I think I've showed everything I wanted to, and thanks for watching.